You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible, Humour in the Bible, 13. 1 Chronicles 4, The Prayer of Jabez The prayer of Jabez was wildly popular a few years back among voguish Christians, worried about their lack of obvious and excess prosperity in their lives. Compared to those richer and in general better off than them, not compared to the world in general, of course. The passage in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9-10, to 10, which tells the prayer, is funny strange, peculiar, that is, if not humorous, in several ways. It's the first narrative in Chronicles. It's not part of the surrounding genealogy. It seems stuck in and doesn't fit quite. And Jabez himself doesn't seem to fit into any of the genealogies in Chronicles. He sticks out like a sore thumb. Though there is a town of that name, inhabited by possibly Kenite scribes, the passage begins, there was, vaihi, like stories do. Though there are puns and other world plays in the genealogies in general, they are much more prominent here. So Jabez is honoured but was born in pain, and prays for pain to be removed from his life. There are a number of clues therefore that this passage may contain intended humour. Tally Williams pointed it out to me and suggested it. And Chris Hurd has an article in JHS in 2002. So the passage has already had some treatment from Biblia bloggers. Let's hear the story with minimal comment to provide clues as to why it might be amusing. There was a man named Jabez, a name of unknown real etymology, who was more honoured, or possibly just heavier, Kavad can mean either, than any of his brothers. Who are these brothers? Why aren't they named? His mother named him. Why is mum doing the naming? Jabez, because his birth had been so painful. Well, it would be if he was heavier than the others. But the pun doesn't work with the name as it's written. It would imply that she named him Yazeb or Jazeb, not Yabez or Jabez. Has his name been changed from painful to protect the honoured one? Jabez called. Yafet points out that Jabez calling on God mirrors and corrects his mother's naming him, calling his name. Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my border! O oh, that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from hurt and harm! And God granted what he asked. The prayer is artful in more ways than one. So Japhet points out, each wish opens with a verb in the perfect with a vav consecutive vehirbita vehayeta veasita and the four lines are rhymed with the recurring first person pronominal suffix tibarkani gebuli imi ospi heard argues against Yefet's following claim that in the chronicler Naming implies destiny, making Jabez's name almost a curse, and he shows rather that it is, as in the text, reflecting his mother's pain. And he is a strong echo of Genesis 3.16. He also argues that we should read this little story with the other small stories in the opening of Chronicles, dealing with the acquisition of land in the south by non-Judahites, Reubenites and Simeonites. In this case, Jabez is more honoured than his brothers in story because he gets his land by prayer rather than warfare. So this little story is full of delightful and amusing turnarounds. Jabez of the ill-omened name becomes more honoured because he gets land by prayer rather than violence. Because he gets land by prayer rather than by violence, Jabez the heavier brother becomes honoured. Jabez the heavy baby is honoured both senses of Kavad he prays to avoid his mother's pain and to avoid giving pain to others. It's not laugh out loud funny, but it may offer some gentle smiles, and compared to some of the harsh sarcasm that we've found in other books, a touch of gentle humour in the middle of Chronicles, dull to modern Western ears genealogies, is welcome. And that's the way with genealogies. They either have the lightest of touches of humour or they have 
hardcore knockabout comedy. You can't expect the latter from Chronicles, now can you? And perhaps the story of Jabez's prayer does encourage us to pray for blessings, though not perhaps in the simplistic way the prayer of Jabez's book claimed. And either way, it's certainly preferable to taking them by force. <laughs>